together this weekend to celebrate Mother's Day. And even though that's kind of a national holiday, it is very much a religious holiday. We refer to our church itself as our mother. We realize the great gift that a mother is to each one of us, for she is the one who has given us life, who nurtures us, who cares for us, who guides for us. It's a time for us to just pause and to think about the relationship we have with our mothers, whether they are still with us or whether they are with the Lord. Their impact on our lives is still part of who we are. And so let's take time this weekend to thank God, first of all, for the gift of a mother, to thank God for the blessings that she brought to each one of us, and to thank God for the times that she was perhaps the only person who stood by our side, very much in the model of Mary, who stood at the side of her son during his suffering and death. You know, I know not every relationship between a child and a mother is perfect. Nothing in this life is perfect. But nevertheless, it is that woman who chose to give us life, who brought us to fullness, and who gave us the opportunity to be who we are today. So to all of our mothers, thank you. Thank you for who you are, and thank you for who you are to each of your children. And even though perhaps the gratitude may not come to you in every day, in every way, on this day especially, know how grateful we are. Have a blessed and a holy day, and know that you are in our prayers for all the days to come.